Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're just going to generate multiple answers or responses uh, from Bug Composer in a very simple way. We're just going to go to the Microsoft material again and we'll generate this simple response and a variation of that. So basically you could actually make look the bot more alive by allowing the bot to send multiple responses in a different way. So we're going to do that right now. So if I run this bot, basically it tells you, uh, welcome to our clinic bot. And then here you got a, like a multi-choice option, but what we're going to do here is to send a response. And let's say just hello. Hello, you. We're going to run the bot and we'll see that response right after the welcome to our clinic bot. So I'm going to open this, restart the conversation. You'll see this hello, you, but that's it. So what we're going to generate now, it's like multiple responses. So every time you ask the bot something or you open the bot, it'll show you a different option. So let's just close this. We're going to go to the code behind. So here to your left, you got a message, sorry, an option here, a uh, called bot responses. And you'll see that the message here is referenced to this uh, activity, all right? So, what you guys can do is basically add the options here. So either another one, I don't know, how's it going? Hey. And the last one, I don't know. What's up? Okay, those are my uh, two, three, four, five different answers for this. This is a name that is generated by Bug Composer, but you guys, you guys could change this as well. So, hello message. But because this is referenced in a in an activity here, you'll have to actually change that as well. So. So you paste this here, and again, you could change this name as well. So hello, message. All right, now it's going to run. So you guys could put here something like, you know, I want to type a message here. Uh, my hello message. So I'll note that if I see this code behind, you know, like uh, when the bot's going to uh, grow a lot, you're going to have a lot of these messages here. So I'm going to have a comment here saying that, okay, this is actually related to my hello message. And that's it. So we'll have to see if this works. I'm going to restart the bot and I'll see if it's actually getting me all the answers that I want. So we're going to restart it a few times and we'll see if that changes uh, the hello message or not. So, okay, it looks like there's an error here. It says uh, basically some sort of uh, parsing error. So let's just close this and let's see what's going on here. So I have this uh, referenced and Let's just go back to my uh, bot here. And there you go. So there's a few glitches in Bug Composer. This is one of these. Um, it should change this automatically, but it doesn't. So because I changed this name, then I'll have to come here and try to copy this. 
and then paste it. But th is this the real one we need? Or is this one the activity? So we'll see that. Let's just go back here. And then we'll see if that works or not. All right, let's just open the web shot. Let's restart the conversation. And it's actually working now. So uh, what up? Let me just go back to the code behind and we'll see all the options that I have. Uh, let's just restart the conversation again. Now I have the how's it going? How's it going? Let's restart again. Maybe I have a hello you or hi there. Okay, I got how's it going again. Restart again. Hello you. So I noticed that you're actually making the bot look uh, kind of more alive, you know, like it's not just going to be the same message all the time. So if I restart the conversation again, and again, hi there. So you have different messages. So basically, I could do that to this welcome to our clinic bot message as well. So we'll, we'll pretty much use the same strategy here. So if I scroll the way up, you'll see this welcome to our clinic bot. So we'll just try to type a couple of other options here. We're not gonna change the titles now so hey welcome back to our bot hello there this is our clinic bot okay now we have these three different messages so Let's say if I want to restart this bot, let's see if that works. Because I didn't reference this in the beginning because it was basically only one question, uh, one message. So if you notice here, hey, welcome back to our bot. It's actually giving you a different message. So if you restart again, and again, you'll have this welcome to our clinic bot. Notice that it's actually providing the three different answers. Hello. And you'll notice that these two are actually changing at the same time. You know, like they have these uh, options and the algorithm just take one of those and mix them up, basically. So... All right, that's basically how you guys can uh, work with multiple responses um, in a bot. I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you in the next video.